1978, I was in L.A. making stunt rock. My investor took me to a Beverly Hills Chinese restaurant one night to meet the star of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds and Marnie, Tippi Hedren. Accompanying her was her then-husband, Noel Marshall, a producer on The Exorcist. They had been shooting a movie on their ranch with all their family members as the principal cast. We had just seen a selection of scenes, during which another cast member bit Mr. Marshall rather heavily on the thigh. They were pitching for finishing money. I thought it had a lot of potential, but my investor didn't agree. Three years later, the movie was finished, and at $17 million, consider that in today's money, it is probably the most expensive home movie ever made. It's certainly one of the most dangerous. The title? Roar! This is the German language trailer. The film had its genesis when Tippi and Noel were on location in Africa in 1970. They came across an abandoned plantation house that had been overrun by a pride of lions. So they created such a house on their property in California and imported elephants, lions, tigers, leopards and a range of smaller exotics to live with them. Noel Marshall plays a man happily living alone with this menagerie. Tippy plays his estranged wife who brings their children to visit unexpectedly. This results in perhaps the most dangerous scenes between actors and animals ever filmed. With producer-director Noel Marshall's two sons and Tippi Hedren's daughter, the future Melanie Griffith, in the thick of the animal action. Roar! Familiarity and trust were key to staging these scenes. Tippi told me she often went to sleep with a tiger at the foot of her bed. She's a passionate animal rights activist who wanted the movie to be a plea for the preservation of endangered species in Africa, particularly the big cats. Though here it looks like Noel Marshall is the endangered species. But a series of calamities, including fire, flood and injuries, caused the shoot to span five years. Melanie Griffith was clawed in the face, requiring reconstructive surgery. Her mother suffered a fractured leg when thrown from an elephant. Cameraman Jan de Bont, while shooting from inside a barrel, was scalped by a lion cub reaching in with its paw and needed reportedly over 200 stitches. Noel Marshall was wounded so many times that he developed gangrene. Over 70 cast and crew members were reported to have been injured, though Tippi disputes that figure. She and Noel sold virtually everything they had to finish the movie. But the film was mocked in its European release as Jaws of the Jungle or Born Free Gone Berserk. American distributors lost confidence and consigned it to VHS, where it languished until recently when Alamo Drafthouse gave it a Blu-ray release. Roar is let down by a hammy script and Noel Marshall's awkward performance as the cat-loving husband. I agree, the movie is a bit of a train wreck, but it's a -a one-of-a-kind, I-can't-believe-they-did-that train wreck. So check it out.